Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Endless Legend as the cultist. Let's carry on here. I uh, am going to try to speed things up. The last episode was a bit, you know, a bit of uh, a lot of talking, if you will. So hopefully this time things will go by a little bit quicker. Or, you know, things will happen, basically, is what I'm trying to get at here. So six turns to grow. Actually, I want to I keep growing. I think we have enough money to bribe right now. I mean, normally I would definitely want to rush build this thing. Because it, it it would make a lot of sense actually, because we have really bad production. I'm actually starting to regret my uh, starting location. But what can you do? It's done. We'll see what we can do. Let's grab this. Ah, I hate these types of quests. All right. Well, we're gonna start sending you back. Wait, we've grown. We know that. Uh, this hero, actually, you know what? Start making your way here. I would definitely like to go bribe the these guys. And you, I think you've grabbed this already, right? Right, we've already grabbed that. You can move here now. And uh, yeah, just start making uh, your way back. Okay, the okay. I have to get there probably in a certain amount of time though, right? Anyways, end our turn. We'll go do that next. Right now we don't have a very strong army though. The preachers don't do a lot of damage. Or they hardly do any damage actually, for that matter. So we're going to go here now, talk to this guy, bribe, so they're automatically on our side, so that gives us another worker, or another civilian, whatever you want to call it, we're definitely going to put him in production now, so that drastically increased our production, so that's good. Um, unfortunately, we only had one of these guys, one minor faction in our region. If we had two or three or more, I, I think three's the max, uh, we would have gotten all three of them in one shot. So that's where the bribe really comes in handy, because you immediately get three, you know, workers to, uh, you know, to start uh, generating more, uh, you know, resources and stuff. So, yeah, we're going to send you right into that army. We're gonna start moving you here afterwards. We got this guy here. Yeah, you can move over there, why not? Stay there for now. What's this? Right, so I would definitely, definitely like to get these guys hooked up immediately. So I might actually do that instead of an empire plan. Just so that we can build, you know, maybe two of their, uh, of these infantry units, which should help us in combat early on. So I'm definitely go going to avoid the uh, cavalry unit don't really need it. Seed storage has been teched. That's good. It sort of caught me off guard. I got uh, off guard. I got a pop up for that, but I don't remember getting a pop up for the first tech we got. So that's a bit strange. But anyways, we're teching really quickly though, which is, uh, I mean, honestly, it's not really what we need. <laughs> I mean, of course, teching is always good, but can't really do anything here, so we're just going to let you there, end our turn. Combo back our guys. Now, a, a lot of people like to, uh, you know, keep wandering with those armies to grab as many runes as possible. Um, it's, it's obviously a good choice, don't get me wrong. But right now we're generating more money per turn, and I'm not having really good luck with the runes right now. So we got 10 free Quicksilver, now they want us to go to another place. Where would that be? The next location on the map. Hmm. Anyways, let me re-click this. We got 30 dust, good. Oh, we leveled up too. So this is our uh, starting guy. Uh, class specific things, he's very strong, makes the, the whole army stronger. And on this side here, the uh, faction uh, thing is very good for just increasing all of your fidzies. But uh, we're not going to go that route with this guy, we're definitely going to go for the, the whole increasing the strength of our army. This is going to be our main army, we're going we're gonna to want it to be as strong as possible. And uh, so yeah, we're just going to go down that route. I don't think there's a, you know, a wrong choice, but I prefer that route myself. Yeah. Okay, so we, we've grown to three. Good. Now it's seven turns to level, uh, or level, seven turns to get another pop. If I go like this, it'd be nine turns. Right. 
I really need more production though. Two turns for this. This is going to help us. I think I want to do it that way for now. We'll dismiss this. Uh, find location, does it tell me? Ah, it's right here. It's right next... Oh, okay. Yeah, I might as well go there now. Actually, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab this rune first since it's right there. Then find anything. Man, oh man, this is like my worst game ever where I'm not getting anything right now. It's crazy. Not getting anything from runes. Now, I could attack these guys if I wanted to. They might attack me, actually. Nope, they settled. I don't have enough influence to go to war with them. It's 19 influence. Because right now it'd be a really easy city to pick off. We could get a stockpile of 25. But I don't know if I want to be going at war. Anyways, it's irrelevant because I will not have enough influence to go to war with them anyways. I'll definitely make this my first target, though. Probably makes sense. Okay, so we're going to get the uh, Founders thing now. I mean, the cultists are very different. Eh? It's, uh, I'm not sure I'm even playing them properly. I've done a few test runs, like I said, but uh, anyways. We'll see how that works out. Yeah, Mill Foundry, five turns. That makes a whole lot of sense. And right now, we want to make our way over here. Oh, there's something I forgot to do, too. There's something someone uh, has uh, shown me, which is a very valuable... Uh, I wouldn't call it a trick, but it's something you should always do, and I'm, I should have done it right away. I have to be in my territory, though, to do it, right? Let me just move here. I'm gonna... There's two accessories that you should get immediately on your hero. So let's click on our hero. Let's click right here on the accessories. We've got this thing here that imp 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 improves our vision by one, and also gives us sharp sense one, which I forget what that does. Uh, it's only 13 gold to, to get that, and this one here is Improve Movement 1. Now, I mean, this is a must. I don't know why I forgot to do that in the last episode. I should have done it right away. Then again, I was saving up money to bribe this guy here. I think that's a stronger move. But you do want to grab those... you want to grab those accessories on your main army, like, immediately. Alright. Empire Plan is coming up. La -dee da Grab this. Ah, again, another place. Fuck. Okay, over here. Fine, we'll make our way there. We'll parlay with this guy at the same time. Grab this rune. Hopefully that'll end that quest and we get something decent. Let's end our turn. I should probably rush build this thing now, actually. How much would it cost to rush build? 52. I save a turn. Or do I just wait? Definitely want the Empire Mint as well. We want to create a burrow as well as soon as possible. Definitely want something that's going to give me the most production. Now, on this side here, there's not a lot of production. Uh, yeah, no, I have to like burrow this way, or create a burrow this way. Not too bad. We get two more hammers, get some good science, get some money. Not a lot of food. Hmm. I'm going to create the burrow here. You know, I should have probably settled down here where this production was, now that I think of it in hindsight, but uh, whatever. Create the burrow there. I want to queue, up, queue it up now. I would definitely love to rush build it. I'm not sure that's going to happen, though. All right, let's move in this area. Talk to you. I have to attack you? Oh, no. Parlay. Make sure there's no enemies in this region for five turns. Yeah, that's, is usually, that's usually a pretty easy one to do. That worked out. Radio. Let's move here. Oh, we found the reds. Another one. Jeez. Oh, we're getting stuff for it, though. But... It's getting a bit annoying. Ah, oh, completely on the other side. They want me to walk all the way to the other side. Alright, well, whatever. I guess we'll do it. Click this again. Within five turns, uh, search for a relic in the unspoiled rules illustrated by array of uh, things. All the way up there. Oh, my God. Alright, let's go there. It gives us stuff to do as we try to figure out our next moves. Again, I just want to tech to where I, I, I can start building a decent army, and then, you know, definitely start attacking as soon as possible. So
so we got that. We're working on this. Beautiful. So it's three turns for this. You know what? I think I will just save my money to the rush build the burrow. Definitely want to cute this up as well. I don't think I need two guys in here now, though. I want to start generating influence, because influence is extremely valuable for us. No, and I'd rather grow on the next turn. There we go. You can start making your way... up here. go. Minimize, we'll take care of that after. Oh, really? Uh, that's annoying. Oh, found another minor faction. Okay, pop four. Uh, you 11 turns to grow. There, I can shave off a turn on the seed storage, so I think I'm going to go like this for now. Should work out. You can move here, grab this thing, please. There we go, we got a uh, reward as well, which is a weapon. So in one turn, we can, uh, this guy will be pacified. And I, I don't, like I said, I don't want to give influence just yet to it, because you... Ah, uh, I forgot to re-grab this thing, hang on, let's miss this. Congratulations, good, so they are... Uh, we could technically, well, they're pacified now, so we could give 20 influence to to get uh, to get them on our side. But like I said, if you do that, oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, 25 per, uh, 25 extra life on units works for me, right? So we could get them pacified right now and you know hooked up on our side for 20 influence um, if they have the flag, which means they're pacified. If they're not pacified and they have the skull, it's going to cost you 40 influence to uh, to get them on your side. Um, if the Reds were to go attack them, well, that's it. You have to start all over again. It's going to be another 40 influence. So that's why I'd rather just wait. Because... Didn't I do this already? Because, uh, yeah, we don't have a lot of influence to be wasting right now. So we got some Quicksilver, which will give us XP. No, I'll save that for now. Oof, I almost feel like doing this. Just to, to speed things up. But I don't think I need to right now. Maybe when we're going to be ready to start building more units... We shall do that. Actually, I definitely want to do that soon, though. We do have access now to... What the hell? Where are they? Why can I only build the pre... Oh, no, I didn't assimilate them yet. Right. I have to assimilate them to get their unit. We're going to want to do that. But anyways, let's uh, let's just start making... I guess I should go parlay to this guy right now. Empire plan. I'm not going to do anything. I'll, s I'll wait right now. It's only 20 points. I'm probably going to go for this first. On the next plan, and we'll start. You know, we'll we'll go on a building unit tear, if you will. So for now, though, I actually have to apply nothing. There we go. We're not gonna go anything in this turn. How much? Oh, I have 35 influence right now, so I might as well assimilate the other guy. We have failed to complete the. Ah, screw you. Oh, you like us? Okay, cool. I don't want to bribe you, don't want to attack you. Bring back 10 glass steel. Well, we actually have the glass steel. Good, they've joined us now if we wanted to. We could get these guys on our side as well. And let's see if I click on them now. We, for 20 influence, we can get them on our side. But I don't want to do that right now because the AI will definitely go attack them. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just stockpile my influence. Although it is strong to do it, though, because you do get the free citizen from this. Which definitely helps us. Four hundred and nine gold. I'm still very, very far away from being able to, uh, to build my burrow. To rush build it, anyways. Oh, wait, I keep forgetting. See, this is the thing here. I want to assimilate you because we get 5% more monies, which is not going to be much right now, but I'm also just more interested in getting the uh, the infantry unit. Alrighty. 
Uh, where to though? Where to? Where to? I, I guess I should start making my way back towards the city. Then again, I could finish exploring over here. Take a quick look at what's going on over there. Um, you know what? I think I want to just take a quick look. Not there. This here. Uh, edit. So you're just like this. You're a one-hander shield. That's fine with me, actually, because I want you to be more defensive. Wouldn't mind you having more stuff on you, though. I want you to be strong. So we're going to go like that. And on this, I'm not going to give you anything. So there we go. That unit will be stronger. We're going to want to start building those as soon as possible. I'm going to close this quest thing. So convert two minor factions. It's definitely needed. Okay, so we got the Empire Mint now, so we're making even more money. Do I want to keep three guys in here now, though? Yeah, it stays four. Yeah, you know what? I kind of like what's happening here right now. We're generating a really good amount of money, actually. Found another minor faction. This one gives 5% defense. It's interesting. See, there's a skull here. If I was to go here, it would cost 40 influence to get them on our side, but the odds are the AI is going to attack it the second they have a chance. So we're, I don't want to... I've learned my lesson on, you know, immediately grabbing minor factions with influence. Now we're teching really fast. I've never teched this fast before as the cultist, so I got a really tech-rich area. Um, so what do we want to go for next here, actually? We need two more, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we need two more research to get to Era 2, and Era 2 is going to be awesome. We're going to want to get our range unit immediately, and that's probably when we're going to want to start doing our thing. I should probably grab these two. Plus two gold. Yeah, that's actually... That's actually not bad. Plus two monies. Terrain with river. Hang on. We have river. And we're burrowing. Th yeah, th that's definitely going to make sense. That's definitely going to make sense. I'm definitely going to want this. I'm going to want mercenaries as well and all that. I mean, I'm probably going to... I don't know. I mean, I want everything. <laughs> Can't get everything, though. I can only get two more. I guess I should wait and get the better versions. The stronger versions of the glass steel. So actually, let me... Let me, let me, let me, let me... Let me grab this for more money. We have the river, so it's going to make sense. And let me also grab the... Uh, the hero thing in the... Uh, marketplace. The mercenaries. I think that's a good way to end era one, actually. So there you have it. One turn, we're getting the public library up and running. Definitely want to get the glass deal up and running. We might as well. Maybe I should rush build it. It's only six turns for the burrow. You know what? I am going to rush build this. Uh, stronghold, infantry thing, an extra slot. Nah. The stronghold, I don't think I really need right now. Oh, there's some, uh, some evils about... Might as well kill him. I am going to ready fight this though. I'm not going to auto this fight because I don't trust the AI on this one. Plus we'll get a quick look at how the uh, the preachers work. Which is, uh, I kind of like the way they work. So anyways, uh, yeah that's uh, not too bad of a stance. I guess you can actually move. We'll move this guy back. So let's ready up. So this guy's going to buff him with the Unleashed Potential, which gives us 10% to pretty much everything. Life, damage, initiative, defense, and attack. So that's why I like these preachers. And as well, are these guys infantry by any chance? They are flying. Okay, so they have to come towards us. And if I actually attack these guys, I will cast the slowdown, which 50% battle movement for two turns. Or minus 50% battle movement. So it's actually pretty good. But what I'm going to do is actually just buff this guy. Makes more sense right now. And then him... We don't get the act first, eh? So... Yeah, let's do that. Whatever. There we go. Hopefully he doesn't kill this guy, though. That's gonna piss me off. Ooh, 50 damage. That's a lot. See, the AI is ignoring this guy. 
56 damage, that's pretty good. I might actually lose this guy now. No, hang on. Do this. Do this. Might as well finish this guy. I might lose a unit, which pisses me off. This is the problem with the preachers, they're very, very squishy. Ah, uh, zero damage. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, the AI is so weird like that. You could have finished this guy off, probably. Uh, I only did 28 damage now. I'm for sure losing a unit now. Anyways, if I go on my main hero, as you can see... Why is he not buffed? Oh, shit. Rebuff. There we go. Yeah, I lost my unit. Might lose the other one, too. Might lose the other units. You can't even escape, so just stay there, whatever. Pretty sure I lose my units. Man, I lost my two preachers. That's really bad. That's the problem with the... Oh, I didn't lose them. Oh my god, that's... Oh, I'm gonna lose them now. I couldn't kill this guy off. Oh, fuck. Hey, now he's dead. So that was a bad fight. Really, really bad. A little bit aggravating, actually. Right, well, that didn't work out too well. Okay, well, we might as well come back uh, <laughs> to the base, or to our uh, capital, and we're gonna have to start building units. A Saparuni. Right, it's winter too. Oh my god. Alright, so we got the library, we got that. We're gonna grow in eight turns. This is six turns. I'm gonna definitely queue up two of you guys, queue up a preacher. Really? Oh my god, it's gonna take forever to get back to uh to the city. That's not really a good start for me, although score yeah, score wise we're way behind, but that's because we can't settle, so that's kinda like the whole catch. The whole catch with the cultists is that the beginning is a very fragile moment in our existence, but uh once we get our army rolling and we get some more minor factions on our side, it's gonna start making more sense. So the burrow in three turns, that's cool, that's good. I might fill up with two infantry, a preacher, maybe another infantry, and I might just start going on a rampage now, actually. We are playing on a Pangea. So if I actually grab these minor fa this minor faction here, it should be safe from being attacked from uh, one of our opponents. I can always close borders on everybody too, so that they can't walk through my land, which probably makes sense too. I'm throwing out a lot of ideas, honestly. I'm not quite sure the, the best method to play as the cultist, but uh, they are very different. They are very fun, I have to say. Alright, so that was a quick uh, winter. That makes me happy. So we've got this completed. We're working on the market thingy. Probably going to want to build this as soon as possible, actually. No point in building this one though, we don't have any lakes. But uh, we definitely have a river. 96 gold to rush build you. 276 to rush build you, eh? 
Actually, I could get the burrow up now for 82. Save a turn. I'm gonna move this up here. I guess I queue up another preacher. Sure, why not? Actually, I can rush build them for cheap. Might as well do it. Get those two units back that we lost. Move over here, just stay there for now. Let's end our turn. So we got the burrow. Nice. Also got two units, select all, new army. We're gonna walk in there. I'm actually gonna go down here and try to uh, parlay with this guy here. See if we can't get them on our side right away. We do have a lot of influence, but like I said, influence is extremely valuable for us. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't really, don't really know what else to say on that one. Move down there. What's this? Right, Quicksilver, production thing... I'm gonna wait a bit for the production thing. What's cool with having only one city is that our boosters are gonna be very cheap the entire game, so... We can just buy, you know, stockpiles from the, st from the market and, uh, you know, we should pretty much be able to get what we need. That's why I think money's very valuable, too. But, uh, it definitely feels like it's time to start the, uh... The attacks on our opponents. So we're working on our military. There we go, this miss. Come down here, we shall parlay with you on the next turn. Alright, there we go. Give me something good. Or I could just bribe you. You know what, it's just easy to bribe. <laughs> I have the money. I just had exactly the right amount of money? Are you serious? Wow. 39 gold per turn, that's crazy. I already been passed by right, so it's 20 influence. Let's get these guys on our side. What? It didn't work? Oh, okay, phew. I was like, man, don't fuck with me. Why, is it, why does it say 40? Anyways, it's 40 when they're, uh, when they're dead. When they have a flag, it's only 20. But anyways, so we got another civilian. I'm definitely gonna put you in food right now. Might want someone in money, actually. Well, that's only four gold per turn. This would be an extra four signs per turn. Might as well go for influence. No, that's just an extra two influence. You know what? Fuck you, stay in production. I don't know. In food, it doesn't change anything. Ah, actually, every bit of science works. Let me do this. I'll do it that way. And uh, there we go. You know what? It's time for a cut in this episode, which is uh, not too bad. In the next episode, we'll be beginning Era 2. And uh, there's two or three very important texts that we're going to want. We'll go through them in the next one, but uh, just a you know real quick thing. We're definitely going to want our Ranger unit first, and also the one that increases our army size by two. Right here. Plus two army unit slot, extra accessory slot. This is uh, probably going to be the first thing I tech. No, actually, I'm going to tech this guy first so I can start building them. Then I'm going to get this one next. And then we're definitely going to need this because we're going to want even more influence so that we really go on a rampage of just grabbing every single minor faction. Because right now, if you click on this guy, you can see I'm getting these fids. Ah, cool. I got more production doing that and more food. So I'm probably doing pretty good now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's why it went down so quickly. Yeah, right now we're getting an extra three three hammers here. Three science. We're getting a lot of food, extra money. So that's the beauty. But like I said, they're very fragile. The uh, AI loves to attack them. Even though they're your color, they don't care. They will attack them. But this one's like so far down. I, don't, I think we're okay. I'm definitely going to go here next. We're going to kill this, get a stockpile. Capitals are very difficult to attack, though. We're going to want our better units. 
I'm actually starting to like my uh, starting location just because we were able to tech so quickly. But anyways, I'm rambling on now, so actually let me just completely finish my turn. We can start sending this guy back. We're going to grab our two uh, military units, our two... Uh, whatchamacallits. Do I want two preachers in an army? I'm just still trying to figure out what's the best, you know, army for the cultists. Is it like, you know, two infantry units, two range units, two preachers, or maybe two infantry, three um, range units, and one preacher? I don't really need more than one preacher. I know I have two right now, but we can always just send one back to the garrison. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go one preacher, two infantry units, and three range units and try to look for uh, heroes that are infantry as well. I think is what I'm going to do. But uh, yeah, that'll be for the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you all next time.